It's an absolute privilege to be here as a part of the Captain's Forum. It's not something I'd previously heard about until I received the invitation and then did a little bit of research of my own and discovered what it was all about and I thought, you know, it really was an opportunity not to be missed and such a fantastic chance to meet with other captains around the nation and, and draw inspiration from, you know, fellow athletes. It's a special honour to be here today, to be sharing knowledge, not only with the other captains of uh, you know, other sports within Australia, but also some of the people we've met along the way here today and from so many different angles, political angles, um, you know, people working in Indigenous communities. I spent a lot of time talking and listening to administrators and the CEOs um, and people at the high performance level, but I don't get enough time talking to the athletes themselves and the captains. So for me, it's a really important day just to be able to listen to what's going on and also to help shape the future policies uh, that we have federally in terms of sport. I remember hearing from Kieran Perkins, one of his great stories was uh, leading to the final of that race in Atlanta. Um, and the bus, I think, there were, there were delays and everything and he was just watching the different um, athletes, that they had the eight athletes in the finals there and he was just basically watching all of their reactions. So there was the boisterous American that was up there going, this is ridiculous, I'm not going to have my time to do my warm up and all this kind of stuff and other people getting nervous and the way that he saw everyone reacting in that bus was pretty much the way that the race panned out in the fact that he was very composed, he knew that look, I'm not going to get the best warm up or whatever but neither is anyone else and there's nothing I can do about it so I'm just focusing on myself. Um, so yeah, it's, it's leading into events, it's, it's off the field, it's, it's everything, yeah. We get to the first team meeting, we're about to go out to training, he's chatting about one thing and another. And then he says, he says to the team, look, I've been having a chat to the captain. And I thought, oh no. He said, no, I don't think we should face the Harker this weekend. And, you know, I always regret that I didn't say anything. And I can guarantee you, but you know what, I didn't say anything, but not, neither did anyone else in the room that day. And I reckon 80% of the room would have realised that that was the wrong thing to do, not to face the Harker. Not one of us said anything. I don't blame any of them, I blame myself as a captain. It was a moment where I should have actually said something. And I guarantee I would have only had to half say something. I wouldn't have finished my sentence before others would have jumped over the top and finished it for me. And I look back at that moment, that weekend we ran out on the field and we didn't face the Haka, we did some ball skills and drills while the All Blacks did the Haka. But while we did, tried to detract from what they were doing, we actually diminished so much more within ourselves. So when we stood up on the line to kick off that day eventually, we stood up as lesser men. Now our values, and we come to this concept of, of values and a charter, what you actually stand for. Now the Wallabies values were, were things around courage, commitment, mateship, integrity. We actually showed none of that when we didn't face the Haka. So it's so much more what you do as it is actually uh, what you say that is important. Do you think there are any significant differences between Indigenous ideas of leadership and non-Indigenous? I think the demands on Indigenous leadership are, are so great. I mean, they have tr tremendous uh, responsibilities put on them for a whole range of things from you know, being responsible for, for sport, being leaders in the sporting field and being leaders in dealing with some of the things that I, I, I've been talking about. I don't think that's the case in the non-Indigenous world. I think leaders in the non-Indigenous world are very specific about what they are leaders about, but there's greater demands, much greater demands on, uh, on leaders in the, um, in the Indigenous world. I think we've seen already um, through the Australian um, junior ranks, more kids out there playing and more Indigenous kids having success. I know Jason Gillespie used to brag about it all the time and um, I think it's a really important part of, of all sport um, to try and give every kid, no matter what your background, no matter where you come from, the same opportunity and that's our goal. I think to be here at the Captain's Forum trying to break down a few barriers and learn how, how we can you know, get the ball rolling and close that gap is a really important thing. One thing I've learnt in this job as a minister is you know, you're always looking, when you're trying to make social change, when you're trying to improve people's lives, you're always looking for, a, I guess, leadership, but I call it a change agent. What's the change agent that's going to affect people differently, that's going to make the change possible? It was like when, last night, um, we talked about, Kevin Sheedy talked about throwing out the rule book. You know, when, when people said you, those, ja those Japanese footballers couldn't play in the AFL, he said, well, change the rules. So what is the, what is the, the person, 
the individual or the institution that's going to change the rules and make a difference. Now I'm in a position within my sport where I need to give back to my sport. To do that, I need to give um, all of my own personal experiences to everything that's involved. So that's the up-and-coming kids that I work with through to the Davis Cup and the Fed Cup teams that I work with. And I, I not only work with the athlete, but I work with the coaching staff as well. So to be involved in something that is as broad as this through so many sports, um, throughout what I'm going to learn from it, I, I know I will be going back with so much more experience. We all want to make positive changes uh, to our sport and to, I guess, the other athletes that are around us. So it's a great opportunity to, to mingle, to network and, and hopefully form some great relationships. It gives us an all, of it, all an opportunity to, uh, from different sports and different areas, to discuss and figure out key things to be a role model and a leader. If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. If an elephant has his foot on the tail of a mouse and you say that you are neutral, the mouse will not appreciate your neutrality. You are role models. Change starts with you. And really, the only thing you need to recognise is how much power you have and how much leadership potential you have to make a change, not just in your sport, but in Australian society.